grab yourself a cup of coffee because this video might make you feel uncomfortable, okay? I'll be talking about the five bad spending habits that will hurt your financial independence, early retirement plans. Five unnecessary subscriptions. I am referring to your gym membership and other online subscriptions you do not use after seven days. And although this year's plan was for you to keep fit, you know, lose some weight or, you know, get in touch with whatever you want to do with your body, you have not gone close to the gym after day one. All right, fat man, let's do this. I know you feel justified just having a membership card. I get it. But did you know that you're spending about $60 a month and $720 a year for a service you do not even use? Like, did you know that, huh? If you really want to lose weight or exercise, just take a walking or jogging. Heck, you could even work out at home using YouTube videos. It would absolutely do the job. Four, spending more for free shipping. I totally understand why you might want to spend a little bit more in order to get your free shipping, you know, but don't do it. Just no matter how tempting it is, don't do it. Oh yes, oh yes, oh no, I spent $900. Now what you can do is check websites such as freeshipping.org for free shipping coupon codes. See if the retailer offers free shipping to its locations nearer to you or you can just look for similar products from retailers with free shipping. Three, grocery shopping without a list. Ugh, I am by no way questioning your level of retention, but if you don't take a shopping list with you to the store, chances are you might end up buying things you already have or perishables that you won't have time to prepare. So much to do and so little time. Or worse, you might even forget to buy the things you need and have to go back to the store, stupid! This happens to me all the time. So, keeping up with the Kardashians or Joneses, depending on who your neighbor is, it is very easy to fall into the trap of spending more just to keep up with what people around you are buying. Life is not a competition, so relax. You're not getting a Grammy for outspending the next guy. And the Grammy goes to... You idiot! And that goes from sending your kids to a private school or even buying a house, buying a new car you cannot afford. Instead of keeping up with these people, why not just set your own unique financial goals that align with your values and stop trying to impress other people by plunging yourself into more and more debt. And one, being loyal to brands. As crazy as this sounds, no brand actually cares for your financial freedom the way you do when designing an expensive new dress. So instead of being a brand addict, why not be loyal to yourself first or your wallet? I've been observing your behavior and I don't think you're an addict. I think you're an idiot. Well, I don't pay you to think, hot lips. All right, listen to me, okay? They are a business and only want to separate you from your money. So instead of flying the flag high for your favorite brand and staying broke, why not create your own unique style around what you can afford? These are just a few bad habits we're all guilty of. Just imagine how much more your investment portfolio or savings will grow if you worked on getting rid of these habits. So please leave your comments below on what bad habits you're struggling to get rid of and do the right thing by giving this video a thumbs up, sharing with your friends, subscribing and coming back for more.